Welcome to Wits Wrestling Roundup. We are at Bath, a very busy week for the Wildcats. They have the team state duels tomorrow here at Bath. They will host Carey, and then the winner takes on the winner of Coldwater and Duffel St. John's. Then Western Buckeye Leagues are Saturday. We'll have the finals for you on WOSN. Jim Whitcamp, who is our Buffalo Wild Wings rest of the week? Uh, it came down between Tyler Sharista from Liberty Benton. Yes, I'm a homer. And then also down between Justin Post for Coldwater. I went with Tyler just because Tyler walked in, was pretty dominant throughout the entire tournament. Um, and he's been doing, he's had a great year going. He's ready for, um, he's ready to go all the way to state and see what he can do there. So hopefully we got to get by the districts. But Tyler should really be better right now. He's a good one. Post with almost 150 wins. Yeah, I think he's at 139 Justin, now. And I remember when he first came in as a freshman, you would have told me he was going to be like this. It's just been nice watching him grow. So You've been watching the guy next to you grow as well, Colin Ingram. Joining us, as well as the new coach for Bath, not new anymore, I guess, Joe yeah. Fisher. It's in his first year, but we are in the home stretch of this first season. And, Coach, let's start with you. How's the transition gone from being a college wrestler to a high school wrestling coach? Sometimes I push the kids a little too hard. You, know, um, <laughs> you expect I'm, I'm not, you know, they are. I got, sometimes I remember they're 14, 15, 16, right. 17 years old. They're not 20-year-old college kids. But, um, <laughs> you know, I think they relish it. You know, I think they understand that I'm just trying to push them hard to get them better. And I think they accepted that challenge so far this year, and they're really pushing it. Is there any going to be any difference for you with um, the two different the two different divisions that we you know you guys are on you know between Division Three and Division Two? Mm -hmm. You approaching anything different when it comes to the team duels versus the uh, versus the run? Not necessarily. Just you know, whatever kid rushes off at that weight class is going to go with that that weight. You know, we'll obviously we'll look at how the kids have done in certain you know situations, so right. we can try and prepare for each kid, but. You know, in the end, you just got to go out there and wrestle. Right. Colin, how has the transition been for you with the new coaching staff coming in? Uh, what have you learned, perhaps, from these guys, whether it's a style or, or just little tidbits they passed along? Um, I mean, they came in, they, they taught me a lot, um, just different stuff. I mean, from, uh, I don't know, just morals to wrestling moves, everything yeah. there. Is there anything that stands out in your head for this year that – that, that, that you've liked, whether it's placing in a particular tournament, a particular match that, that, that you really liked? Um, probably not really, no. No? No? She's got it going. Is this, is this Colin? Is this what you're used to, Coach? Yeah, Colin's very uh, <laughs> introverted. But, you know, I like that because we have some wrestlers who are more vocal in practice. Yeah. But the kids will just look over and see Colin working hard, and they'll want to work right. hard too. You know, just kind of like – Ray Lewis and Ed Reed in the Baltimore <laughs> Reigns. Remember that was going on? Yep, yes. right. They're saying how the real leader is Ed Reed. You know, he's not out there like Ray Lewis saying things. And that's more like Colin. Yeah. Very cool. Well, the young men snubbed me last year, didn't give me an interview. And <laughs> so this year, this year, heart. this year, we're going to make sure that, you know, we get a talk this time, even if it's just a quick hi, congratulations. <laughs> but, hey, Coach, um, we were kind of talking once before, but t t just touch a little bit about you bringing on some of the individuals that you brought on to help you here from your one coach from Wadsworth. And, 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 and uh, I like the story you were talking a little bit about Chris Perry uh, with the one coach that actually knows Chris Perry because I got to meet Chris Perry a couple of times at mm -hmm. Wrestle Against My Son. So mm -hmm. it's kind of neat to, to hear Small that. World. Right, I mean, kind of knowing a little bit about, we know who Chris Perry is, some of the people that might not. So it, talk just, a little um, bit about those guys, Wadsworth and. We have uh, two assistant coaches I brought from Ohio Northern. The first one was ben, Coach Ben Marks. He's originally from Stillwater, Oklahoma. He lived with the Perrys his senior year because hmm. his parents moved down to Texas, and he wanted to stay at high school and finish it out with his friends. And I guess yeah. the wrestling team is really good. I mean, if you have Chris Perry on your team, <laughs> you should be a pretty good team. Perry or Smith, you're sitting pretty. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it was good to bring him in. Uh, he was a grade younger than me um, at Ohio Northern. Then we have Coach Owens, who was originally from Wadsworth, Ohio. He mm -hmm. was part of the team that beat – St. Ed's for the first time, and I forgot, I don't know, it was a 13, some, what, it was a, it was a, it was a no, big no, streak. It, it, yeah. it was like 13, 14 mm -hmm. years, I mean, don't quote me, but yes, we're talking some, a decade at least. Yeah, like dominance, and Wadsworth right. comes in, and so I liked picking his brain about what his coaches were saying, you know, um, how he got the kids motivated, how they built that program up, and he sort of knew a little bit, but with talking to his parents, you know, and trying to get more perspectives on things, you know, because I'm a firm believer in you need to have multiple points of view. You know, mm -hmm. me, Coach Owens, and Coach Marks all think differently and act differently. You know, so if there's two people in the same room with the same opinion, one's not needed. You know, so sometimes you clash heads a little bit, but sometimes it's good. I'm stealing that from you. I all like right. that. Uh, coach Beachler just down the road at Ohio Northern, too. Do you pick his brain now that you're a, a high school coach as well just to see maybe in different situations? 
Oh, no, I definitely call up Coach Beach there once in a while. Um, it's it's good. He, I got to know Coach Beach more on a more personal level, and he knows golf's rest on a more personal level. Yeah. And I think we really wrestled well for him because you know he really did truly care about us. Because down there in Ohio Northern, you know, a bunch of us from Oklahoma, New York, PA, Indiana, wow. Michigan, you know, he was our essentially our college father right, down there. Right, you know, right. we can go with him. He was very open communication. We can go and tell him any problem we want, and that's the kind of thing I wanted to have here. Hmm. You know, if a kid was having some issues, they can always come talk to me. Awesome. Is there anything that st sticks out so far, so far this year for you that, that you kind of like, whether it was Allen County, whether it was like the holiday, or is there like a tournament or a, a match from one of the kids that seems to really catch your, catch your eye more, more? Um, I did enjoy the county tournament. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, Highland was a good tournament. It was my first tournament as a head coach, okay. and we, we won that tournament. And, you know, the kids really responded well for that. I liked every single duel we've been in. You know, the kids really get intense for the duels. You know, they really truly care about their teammates, and they really try and pump each other up, which I like a lot. You know, sometimes they get a little too fiery, so I got to reel them back a little right. bit. But usually I don't try and do that. I just let them express themselves. Um, I always think the whole season's been, this whole season's been memorable yeah. for me, at least. Nice. Uh, I can't really pick a favorite memory. State duel coming up. You got Carey first in the winner of Colt Water Delphi St. John's. Do you scout Carey? Do, do you know them very well? Or how does that go in a, in a dual atmosphere like that with an opponent maybe you haven't seen? Well, like I said before, you know, you just got to go out there and wrestle. Yeah. You know, um, there's two types. For our wrestlers especially, there's two types. There's one, if we're going to go out there and be aggressive, we can hang with anybody. Yeah. Or if you go out there and be scared. You know, you can be a really great wrestler, but if you go out there hesitant and not aggressive, it's not going to work out in your favor. Yeah. So I try not to tell them too much about this kid qualified for this, replace there, here and there. I want that to get in their heads. I right. want them to go out there and they know the game plan, know what their strengths are, and just be aggressive and try and take it to that wrestling. Awesome. Are you approaching, uh, are you kind of approaching a little bit the difference between the duels versus, versus the upcoming league or anything? Or are you approaching everything the same? I'm approaching everything the same. Like I said before, every kid's in their weight class. Right. You know, um, Might have another wrestle off. Thursday to see we're going to have a couple different kids in different weight classes. But besides that, you know, we're, we're approaching it the same way. You know, um, like I said before, I always told them always, if you go out there and you're aggressive and you wrestle hard, the sky's the limit. You know, we train hard enough in the room that we should beat them conditioning-wise. So hopefully it works out in our favor. Colin, is this a pretty special week for you? You got the state duel, then you got the league. Is this something you've been looking for for a little while? Oh, yeah. Well, I, mean, I always look forward to the end of the season or just the end match in general. But... Yeah, I'm excited. All right, Wits Wrestling Roundup. We'll talk with more Bath Wildcats here as they get ready for the state dual semifinal. And then they will also have the state dual regional semifinal, I should say. And then also WBLs, which we will broadcast for you on Saturday from Kenton. Wits Wrestling Roundup from Bath, getting ready for the duel tomorrow. This, uh, I guess it's the regional semifinal and final. The winner going to the state tournament. Eight teams from Division Three will be represented down in Columbus in a couple weekends. Also, the WBL is coming up this weekend, and Jim Wickamp and I will break those down at the end of the show probably and see what Jim's bit. predictions are. Caleb Neal, big guy next to Wit, and Derek Lowe down on the end, a couple of seniors. Caleb, let's start with you. How have practices been going these last couple weeks? The weather's been crazy. You guys still getting in the mat room with pretty regularity? Yeah, we're getting in here pretty often. We've missed we've missed like one or two, but that's it. How are you looking forward to the upcoming weekend? You got heavyweight and WBL this year is pretty pretty sturdy. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm just gonna go out there and do my best and come back with the trophy. Yeah. Take us through your yeah. season. What have been some of the highlights for you, Caleb? Uh, some of the highlights were placing at the Holiday Tournament in Dayton and placing at the Maumee Bay Classic in Toledo. Okay, that's good. How about you, Derek? Same thing. What, what's kind of been out there for you this year that you've really liked? Uh, probably placing at the Holiday and just being some kids that I didn't beat last year. Some kids that I think were ranked higher and have a chance at winning the league or will be up there at the top. So well, That's got to be always good, beating some kids that, you know, that you weren't able to beat before, now all of a sudden you can, so that's a good thing. Derek, exciting week. Have the guys, have, have you been really excited for the, the state duel tomorrow? Then you got WBLs coming up. I mean, this is as good as it gets right now, right? Yeah, it's awesome. It's the best time of the year, so it's really okay. fun. Well, it kind of keeps you guys kind of focused a little bit, right? Because you got the duel tournament coming up tomorrow. You got the invitational for, I mean, the WBL leagues on Saturday. 
I mean, how, how are you guys uh, with all the weather? Are you, are you able to keep your keep your mental wits about you? Like how I threw the wits in there, by the way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to lighten them up. He's all quiet on me. Yeah, we're just going on. Yeah, we're doing good. I think everyone's keeping their mind where it needs to be, not straying off too far. I mean, it's hard to keep. Like I don't know, it's just hard to <laughs> keep it while you're not doing anything during the day. How, how you like? Nobody can see, but how you like wrestling with big man back there? Yeah. He's got to be pushing you. I mean, you had Wester back in here too, so you go with two big coaches that like to beat the crap out of you guys. So. Yeah, it's been four long years of getting beat on. <laughs> Oh, Caleb. What what has it been like though? Coach Fisher coming in, some of the his college teammates coming in, a, a different approach to the yeah. program. Been, been kind of fun for you. Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, I think with Westerbeck, you just learn like you learn the same things, and he's implemented some new things this year that we haven't been taught, and it, I think it's helped a lot. How about for you? You see the difference between last year, or last, you know last coaching staff and the and, and the I'll call them the young guns, you know the younger guns coming in. Yeah, well, uh, I mean they just got done with college, so they're I mean more modern. They have different techniques coming right out of college. College wrestling obviously is a lot more advanced, I guess you'd say in high school. Right. It's a whole other step up. So getting that in our room and having guys around my waist definitely helps. And just different things we do in the room this year is makes a lot better, I think. Derek, take us through the atmosphere, the difference of a dual tournament like we'll see tomorrow, just team against team versus an invitational like Saturday, the Western Buckeye League, you know, a whole bunch of different wrestlers, different schools represented. How does it feel different for you atmosphere-wise? Atmosphere-wise, I guess, uh, I mean, for those duels, you know, you keep your goal in mind. You have short two, two matches, whatever, and then, you know, you have that goal in your mind. You have to stay focused for those two matches, and you're down there. You're down at Columbus next week. or I, But the tournament, you got the whole day. It's, it's just equally as tough, probably more tough, I'd say, than the duel. You have to stay focused throughout all matches, however many matches you have to wrestle. Then uh, it's just a long, longer day, more, yeah. more hard on your body, more matches. You really have to manage how you're feeling and how you're mentally as well. Yeah. For you, Kenny, what, what, what do you seem to like more? Do you like more of the duel setting? you like more of the, the invitational setting? What do you like more? I like the duels a lot better than the tournaments. Why is that? I just like everyone's there watching you, and they, they're only focused on yours. and. At a tournament, they're focused on every other mat too. Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. Caleb, what's it like wrestling for this guy when he was uh, coaching in the summer and stuff? What's what's Wits Roundup like in the mat room? <laughs> it was, it nice. was fun. It better be nice now. <laughs> yeah, it was real fun. Playing dodgeball was fun. <laughs> uh, were you were you one of the group that got to beat the coaches for the first time? Yeah. See, so y'all understand that we only got beat once. <laughs> Yeah, you did. You were there, weren't you? I owe you ice cream, don't you? Yeah. I owe him ice cream. Oh, he's good. Thanks a lot, Andy. Get that from you. Thanks a lot, Andy. <laughs> Wits Wrestling Roundup at Bath. When we come back, a couple more wrestlers stop by. Get ready for a big week here on WSN. Wits Wrestling Roundup with Bath. Trey Wheeler and Nate Stonehill joining us here on this segment. Trey, let's start with you. We've been talking with the other guys. Big week. You know, you got the duels mm -hmm. tomorrow. The WBL's coming up. Is this kind of the week you've been pointing to for a few weeks now? Yeah, this is the reason why we all wrestle. You know, I mean, this is the biggest, biggest week ever. You know, I mean, we want all of us want to do really good at WBLs and then hopefully uh, move on at the state doors and beat these two teams and then just keep moving forward and keep going. Yeah. What stands out in your head for this for this uh, um, season so far? Anything stand out for you? Uh, not really, just staying healthy mostly and just uh, maintaining my weight and that's about it. No particular match or anything? Um, probably my county's finals. Probably that's just finishing more. You know, that's what I've been working on, just finishing my pins a little better. That's about it though. Good. Trey, do you develop rivalries with, with guys you see maybe in the WBL or, or you know you know you're going to face them down the road in the postseason or are they just kind of okay I know his style and that, mm -hmm. that type of thing? Uh, it, it it's kind of like if they beat you that's kind of like you want to start a rivalry there like you know what I mean if he beats me then I want to beat him next mm -hmm. time I wrestle him and that's probably the same way with other people like if I beat them they want to beat me the same way. I mean anytime you just want to keep winning. Sure. You know, you lose, so. How you feeling about this season so far, Nate? I mean you got. You had a nice younger crew in here coaching you guys. How's that really affected you, and and how are you feeling about it all? Uh, I'm feeling good about this season. We're all in here working hard, and the younger crew definitely helps out. Shows that we'll have a future coming up. But uh, yeah, this season's going pretty good so far. Good. Nate, what are some of the highlights for you so far? Um, I would definitely say the county, yeah. just as a team, how we did there. 
We definitely show that we're a team. We're a good team, and we proved ourselves there. For that county meet, it seems like every year it's a different team that wins it. Did you guys going in really expect to, to be that dominant, I'll say, because you, you had a lot of guys in the finals, a lot of guys getting points? Uh, I wouldn't say we expected it, mm -hmm. but we definitely worked for it, and yeah. I think we could definitely seen that coming, yeah. Cool. That's good. Um, what are you guys looking forward to from here on out? Because like Andy was talking about, you have your duels coming up, followed by WBLs, and then you got, you got, you got, depends on how well you're doing duels, you got sectionals, if not team state duels. So, you know, if all works out, maybe you guys can get ready for team state duels at the same time. What, what are you looking to where to go? Uh, I mean, we're looking to make it to state. That was one of our goals at the beginning of the year to make it to team states. So, I mean, obviously that goal is still intact. We can still do that. And we want to win the league. That was a goal, a big goal at the beginning of the season. So this is a big week for, to meet a couple of goals. Good. Trey, you're in Division Three for the Team State Duels. You're in Division Two for the Sectionals. So it really will be a whole new state atmosphere or, or tournament atmosphere yeah. once Sectionals come along. Will that feel like a new season? You think? Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely feel like a new season. You know, what I mean, you're facing when I mean, you're facing that better of competition. You know, what I mean, when you get down there, it's completely different than what it is around here. You know, what I mean, you're facing guys that are just put, been training as hard as you have. You know, right. what I mean, it just goes by who wants it more. You know, what I mean, that's. That's how I look at it. Yes. A question for both of you real quick is, is there a particular match you're looking forward to this weekend against anybody for, for in the WBL? Um, I would say we're definitely as a team, we're looking to get back at Defiance just because mm. of how we lost in the duel, but I don't think there's any match in particular. No match in particular, just more team atmosphere. Just more, right? yeah, yeah, just more team. We want to win as a team. You know this I mean? says a lot for Coach. Yeah, definitely. It's, yes. right. it's a fun atmosphere because it is the whole league is there. Yeah, it is fun. You're really watching each match. To Are you, are you calculating in your head the points and saying, okay, we need uh, this and this is going on, or you just yeah. kind of let it play? A little bit, kind of, because, you know what I mean, you always want to know, like, what do I got to do mm -hmm. to, you know what I mean, help my team. It, uh, like just with like our whole team does that, you know. What I mean, we all calculate to see what what we need to do to come on top, what other teams need to do to beat the other. Like you know, what I mean, just to come on top and that's about it. That's good. Yeah. Well, you guys got a big week to get ahead. Are you guys approaching it any different right now? Are you guys just still in there banging a lot? Coach got you doing anything different? Just still in there banging it. You know what I mean, just banging? going hard. Yep. Got to keep going hard. What's your Buckeye League thoughts as we close up the show? What 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 do you, what do you see in this weekend? Not just because I'm sitting here, I, <laughs> I, I really think top to bottom, mm -hmm. um, like like when we were talking to Coach, you know, the one the one team that scares me more than anybody, probably for me, looking outside and in, is probably Walpock. Walpock's going to bring a whole different team than anybody's seen during the duels. Mm -hmm. They've been fighting injuries. They've been fighting um, <laughs> just internal aspects <laughs> over there that, that aren't related to anything. But then Defiance is strong, too. Mm -hmm. But I think Defiance, in my opinion, is built more for duels. Bath and Wall Park are built for duels slash invitational play. So your top three are already Those three guys. there, yeah. but I think Bath's going to go one, and Jason, I love you. Then I think Wall Park will follow by De De then followed by Defiance. That's my prediction. He'll be, he'll be there interviewing all the guys, so if you interview a bunch of Defiance and, guys, they might knock you in the head. Yeah, and Pat will probably beat me, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm all right with that. But we will have the finals for you on WSN. You can catch those Sunday as well as all next week. Thanks to Bath for being here for Wits Wrestling Roundup on WSN.